Hey, judging by the title of this video, you're probably wondering what chalk is. Chemically, chalk can be two different things. Calcium carbonate, which is chalk rock, or calcium sulfate dihydrate, which is also known as gypsum. Chalk, as in chalkboard chalk, is often made from calcium sulfate dihydrate, or gypsum. And the cool thing about gypsum is that it's really everywhere. Sure, in some classrooms as chalkboard chalk, but it also has other uses. For instance, according to the U.S. Geological Survey's Gypsum Commodity Summary published January 2017, 37.1 million metric tons were used domestically in 2016. 90% of the domestic consumption was accounted for by drywall and plaster products. So if you're in a classroom watching this video, gypsum is probably also somewhere in the walls and not just by the chalkboard. Along with construction and education, gypsum is also used in sculpture, medicine, and oddly enough, agriculture. But why would you want to put the same thing chalk is made out of into the soil? Interestingly enough, according to a guide published by Ohio State University in 2011 regarding guidelines for gypsum use in agriculture, gypsum works to reduce acidity and aluminum toxicity in the subsoil. This allows for plants to have deeper roots, allowing them a better chance at survival during droughts. Gypsum has also been shown to increase crop production in sulfur deficient soils for crops like corn, soybeans, canola, and alfalfa. Certain methods for gypsum production are also used to reduce air pollution. This form of gypsum is called FGD gypsum, or flu gas desulfurization gypsum, which is a mouthful. But in short, this form of gypsum is produced by taking the smoke from burning high sulfur content energy sources, kind of like coal, and removing sulfur dioxide, which is a toxic gas, before the smoke is released into the atmosphere through a smokestack or flu. So anyhow, coming in at little under a penny per kilogram, gypsum is a fairly cheap and pretty interesting resource, from where it's distributed to how it's made. Also, if you're wondering what chalk is, as in what this channel will be, it'll kind of be like the video you just watched. An educational exploration of sorts. So if you enjoyed this video, make sure you stick around for more by subscribing for more videos and drop me a comment down below if you have anything interesting you'd like me to talk about next time. Anyhow, I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm Nathan Blacklist, and yes, that's my face, and I will see you next time.